Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Patricia Stewart of Patricia Stewart Originals. So here I have my 8x10 gel plate working with Golden Fluid Acrylics. I have used some washi tape to section off my plate. As you can see, I already started. I have some thread and that's being covered in black, carbon black. Hopefully I will be able to get that to show up in the pull. So that was my one inch brayer. Now I'm going in with some red, cadmium red. to use my skewer, the blunted edge, to just make some lines. Just adding some interest. Then I'm going in here with some Naples yellow. and teal. And I'm using a little bit more paint than usual. I'm going to let this dry before I take a pull. And I'm going to use a little Viridian Green. And a little bit of teal mixed in with that. I'm going to go in with my tube and make some circles. do the same here at the bottom, but I'm going to connect these. We're going to let this dry thoroughly. It might take 15 minutes. And then I will pull the tape off and come back and make our pull. Okay, so it is dry. And I took the tape off. Now I'm going to pull up these threads. up a little bit more on the edge 
and I'm going to take this pole with Naples yellow. I can get a clean, nice, clean hole. And I'll be using my Naples not Naples, my Paycon printing paper. And I'm going to let it sit for a bit. And with this, it ends up being just a one pole. Yet you have some, you know, different colors and different things going on underneath, and you get the color, but it only requires one pole. fun to do layers and layers of things, but it's also fun to just create something that requires less. getting the greatest results because some of my, a lot of my glue stayed on the plate. So that wasn't the greatest result from this. However, I'm going to Try to get a save here. So I'm going to go back in with my tool. I will lay a little teal down. And sometimes these organic marks, natural snafus, or things that didn't work out the way you plan, sometimes it can add and not take away as we think. But I was really hoping to get that nice pattern going and didn't. I will do the same up here, but I will use some Naples yellow so I can def get more of a defining marks here. Sometimes you just have to improvise, but that's the beauty of the gel plate, is that you can make the necessary changes, and sometimes the changes are 
a bit better. So I see we have a lot of scratchiness here. And I'm just going to let the print organically do what it does. Now in between these lines, my intentions are to take my Posca pens and now add some black and white blocking. And I'll do that and come back. Okay, so what we have here, what I decided to do was take some of the same paint to clean up the edges that didn't, didn't come up clean from the pull. I did it with the red and with the black. And down here, um, I just went in with the circles again uh, with the colors. And just brought these colors out more with some Viridian Green. And then I took my Sharpie pens and started making these markings. So I wanted to fill in where the tape was to give it um, some interest. And so that is simply done by taking your Sharpie pens. I found that the white Posca paint pen did not come out as bright white on top of this paint. So I had to use my Sharpie for that so that I can get the bright white. And I used the Sharpie uh, paint pen in black as well. I came into the middle with just a black line. That gives a nice border. And so here's the end result. What started to be what I thought was not going to be what I had in mind, um, but a little paint and paint pens or Sharpie pens, you can really make it what you want it to be. And the beauty of the gel plate is just that, that you can have an easy save, you know, so don't be quick to toss your prints uh, because you can save them and turn them into something else. And sometimes what we start out imagining, sometimes it doesn't exactly fall that way, but that's okay because part of the process of art and being creative is that you start with what you initially plan and sometimes the art piece will tell you what it wants to do and where it wants to go. And we have to be flexible and open and not feel as though because I didn't end up with what I started with, how I figured I wanted to go, that the piece is not going to be anything of beauty or we won't like it. And that's not necessarily true because I've had several prints that I've done uh, where it didn't come out the way I thought, but then as I'm looking at it, ideas come and then you try something else or you add something or you use the Posca pens or Sharpies and there you have it. You end up with something that you never intended and it ends up being a piece of beauty. So as usual, I put the matting on it and frameable art. <laughs> My channel is predominantly about frameable art, taking your uh, prints and framing them if you want to or use them in collage work or in your journals or whatever. 
So that's just another perspective on it. Hope you enjoyed this segment. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for my recent subscribers. I really appreciate the comments. Thank you.